Hello there, my name's uh, Dr. Sandu, I'm one of the junior doctors. Hi. Hi, can I get your name? It's Mike. Mike, and what's your date of birth, Mike? It's the 31st of August, 1966. Okay, uh, Mike, I've been asked to examine your respiratory system, so your lungs. Uh, that'll involve me having a look at your hands, have a look at your face, um, look at your chest, we'll have a sort of feel and tap some areas of your chest, and we'll listen to your lungs as well. Will that be okay? Okay. That's great. I'm just going to be back in a second, I'm just going to go and wash my hands, okay? Just looking for any items of note around the bed. Um, can't see anything obvious. There's nothing here. Good. Okay. Uh, Mike, are you in any pain at all? No. Okay, so Mike looks relatively comfortable. Um, he's not breathing very fast, which is good. Uh, okay, Mike, um, I'd just like to have a look at your hands, if that's okay. So if you just place your hands out for me. Uh, looking for any obvious sort of um, clubbing at all or any sort of peripheral cyanosis. Just turn your hands over for me, Mike. That's good. Okay, great. Um, um, just have a look. Can't see anything obvious there. Good. Okay, Mike. Can you try and copy what I'm doing here, Mike? If you just place your fingers together. From this angle, you can see what the patient is being asked to do and the doctor is trying to look for any evidence of clubbing. Good. That looks fine. And just rest your hands there for me, Mike. I just want to have a quick feel of your... Uh, pulse, the radial pulse, and while I'm doing that, I'm also going to count the respiratory rate. Ideally, you want to do this for 30 to 60 seconds. That's good. Okay, and just rest there for me, Mike. I'd just like you to copy what I'm doing now, Mike. So just take your arms all the way out and just bend your hands all the way back. And we're just looking for any obvious CO2 retention flap. Um, I do need to hold that for about 30 seconds or so. That's good, Mike. Just rest for me. That's great. Um, I'll check a blood pressure later on in the examination. Okay. Mike, what I'd like you to do now, just rest your head back for me and just look to the left. So just look at the JVP, because sometimes it's going to press on your tummy, Mike. You're raised in COPD. It looks normal. Good. Just pop your head back in the middle for me, Mike, and just sit forward. Just, that's perfect. And just look up at the ceiling. Let's have a look at the eyes. Good. No obvious central cyanosis. Mike, can you just open your mouth for me for a second? Good. That looks clear. Good. Okay. I'm just going to feel for the trachea, which should be nice and central, which it is. Good. Okay, Mike, I'm going to move on to your chest now. So I'm just going to get you to just place your hands like this for me. Uh, and I'm just looking at the chest for any obvious scarring, any abnormal shapes, any asymmetry. Doesn't look like anything there. Good. Okay, Mike, just rest there for me. So, Mike, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hands in. I want you to take a nice deep breath in for me, okay? And, again, and breathe out. Perfect, okay. Mike, can you say 99 for me? 99. And again? 99. And again? 99. That's great, good. Um, I'm just going to feel for the apex beat as well. So fifth intercoastal space, middle clavicular line. So that's going to be, just pop your arm to the side for me, Mike. Good, it's a normal apex beat, good. Okay, Mike, we're just gonna have a listen to your lungs now. So I'm gonna get you just to take some breaths in and out for me when you feel the stethoscope, okay? Okay. Let's pop your arm to the side for me. That's great. Good. And just the same on this side. Okay, good. And this time, Mike, each time you feel my stethoscope touching you, just say 99 for me, okay? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, just lift your arm up for me. 99. Good, and the same on this side. 99. Good, okay. I'm gonna tap on your chest now, Mike, if that's okay. I'm just gonna to listen to the sound, okay. Okay. Good, okay. Here's a different angle. Now the doctor is clearly showing you how to percuss the chest. And remember, you go from side to side, making sure that you cover the main areas from the top to the bottom of the lungs. 
and you can see he's striking his middle finger. Again, we are showing you the auscultation here. So the doctor is showing you how to uh, listen to the breath sounds, moving from a side to side direction and ensuring that you cover all of the main aspects of the lungs. I'm just going to sit you forward now, Mike, and we're just going to do the same thing on your back, okay? So, just having a look for any obvious scarring. Can't see anything obvious. Uh, just take a big breath in for me, Mike. And breathe out and hold. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Good. Um, I can't see anything obvious there. Mike, I'm just going to gently tap on your back again, okay? Just take some nice big breaths in and out for me, Mike. Okay. This time, each time you feel the stethoscope, Mike, just say 99 for me, okay? 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. So here you can see a posterior view of the respiratory examination and the doctor is demonstrating how to test for chest expansion after the patient takes a deep breath in. He has then moved on to percussing the posterior aspect uh, of the back and you can see He's moving from side to side, striking the middle finger uh, each time. Remember, you're comparing the right to the left side each time. He's now moving on to the auscultation. And again, it's deep breaths in and out. And you move from side to side so that you can compare either side of the lungs to see if there's any additional sounds such as a wheeze or a crepitation. It's the same principle when you're testing the vocal resonance. So just rest yourself back for me, Mike. Okay, and I'm just gonna go behind you and have a feel of the, of the glands around your neck, okay? So we've got the submental. Submandibular, okay, preauricular, postauricular, okay, anterior cervical chain, okay, posterior cervical chain, the occipital gland, feeling down here for these supraclavicular nodes. Good, okay. Uh, so that completes the examination, Mike. So um, just to finish off, um, I'd like to uh, observe a peak expiratory flow, uh, send off a sputum sample, and also do some bedside tests such as the temperature and the oxygen saturations. Mm -hmm.